Chamber of Commerce. I'm Chris Spiker of Antelope Valley Florist. I'm Aaron Goldstein from Goldstein Digital. Our last guest for the day is Doreen Arahan. My bad. Hi. There's no N, right? No N. Arahan. Arahan. There we go. Yes. From the Christian Nurses Association International. Uh-huh. Hi, Doreen. Correct. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Hey, you just joined the chamber this week. Yes, amazingly. <laughs> Anna Zarley called me and said, hey, I got a new member. Awesome. So thank you for coming on the show. Thank and you. what was the decision for joining the Chamber of Commerce? Um, I want to be um, legitimate, you know, right? And I want the Antelope Valley to know that I'm out here and... Um, I, I figure a lot of people will know more about us that way um, so we can reach out and make a difference. And, you yeah. know, I think the, the this video and the radio show, mm -hmm. well, we're shooting a video right now, but the oh. radio show adds a lot of legitimacy because we tell the story. Absolutely. People watch the video and they mm -hmm. go, yeah, I like that lady and I like yeah. her cause. So um, the name of your organization is? Christian Nurses Association International. So it sounds like Christian nurses are involved. <laughs> yes. Real nurses? Real nurses. Like medical nurses. Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and is this an international organization? Um, well, we call it international because we're open to people, uh, nurses from different backgrounds. You know, if you notice, a lot of nurses are from different cultures, um, and I have an accent. Did you notice? I, I, I heard that on the telephone. Okay. I was mystified. <laughs> So now you, you tell me you're Jamaican? <laughs> no. 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 Nigerian. I'm African. Nigerian. Re the real African American. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron, so. did you know that? I did not. Okay. Wow. You learned Kenny? something today. Yeah. <laughs> We're always. Isn't the Antelope Valley an amazing place? It is. It is awesome. I love it. Um, when I just came, well, I, I moved into the U.S. in 92, and I joined my husband. So we went to San Fernando Valley, and it was really congested back there, and we were just raising a family. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we came out here, my goodness, you had the homes are beautiful. You know, we have the landscapes and everything. Wow, it, it just was perfect for my family. But they're all grown now. Ah. Yeah. So just me and my husband. So this organization, <laughs> did you start it? Yes, sir. Ah. Yeah. So this is the international headquarters right here in the Antelope Valley. Wow. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> and, and what do you plan on doing? Um, okay, like the name implies Christian Nurses, right? And it's an association of us. Now, um, this is something that has been in my spirit for a long time. And, oh, by the way, I'm a minister. Ah. Yeah. So, so if somebody a, wants to get married today, you could do it. Mm, I don't know about oh. California license and ah, stuff. <laughs> okay, we'll get you. We'll get you set up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, what happened is, um, as a minister, I was raised in a, um, a, the house of a, a bishop. My dad is a bishop. My mom is a reverend. My whole household, they're either doctors or doc reverend or you know. So we we we're, were public servants spiritual or natural. But in my case, I have a combination of both. So, um, and it was last um, December that I got ordained as the reverend. I was a pastor for some years. And um, it was one of the things that was in my mind to do. Um, I, I consider myself not a traditional um, pastor, um, you know, like, praise God, you know. But I believe that I can go out and make a difference, like, you know. Um, you're, more, you're more practical. More practical. Yeah. I'm more practical. I, I want to take what I read about, and I want to put it into practice. And I believe that a lot of people don't know God because they really have not seen the practicality of God. And if we just go on and say, hey, um, are you a Christian? A lot of people don't go to church. It don't matter, right? But... What we are looking to do is to be an ambassador, you know, be an example of what Christians are. And um, before I became a minister, when I go to work on Sunday, you know, on some shifts I work on Sunday, you're scheduled to work on Sundays. As a nurse. As a nurse. Uh -huh. And when I go to work, I, I usually would feel so bad that, oh, I wish I was in church. Now I'm looking after money. I'm looking for money, right? 
But one day in my prayer time, God convinced me and said, listen, you are going out there. You are actually putting your hands on the sick. And the Bible says they will recover, you know. So I, I minister life to people, right? We try to bring health in, in life. You know, it's possible we can do, we do the preventive care. We do that in church right. and also in mediums like this. So one of the visions is to have a like a talk show, a really relaxed, you know, kind of talk show and addressing the things that people go through as nurses. Nurses, too, get sick, you know. Nurses, too, get um, marital problems. Nurses, too, have children that teenagers been pregnant. While they're going out there to take care of others, you know, something is going on at home. So who helps them? And that's got to be frustrating because of uh, they have a high level of education. Absolutely. And, and they're intelligent. Absolutely. And they still have challenges. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. That's yeah. the truth. So, yeah, doctors, nurses, and that brings me to the part of ministry. So I try to tell nurses, Christian nurses, that you are a minister. You are a minister because when you go to work, um, it doesn't matter what day of the week you go to work, but when you go out there, just see yourself as ordained by God and licensed or, you know, registered by the state of California to operate in, you know, in the field that you do. So we're really not limited to uh, nurses. We're reaching out to anybody who's a caregiver, you know, like if you're caring for somebody else. And by the way, I did and I still do home health nursing. So when I go to patients' home, I see a lot of seniors being there by themselves, mm -hmm. nobody taking care of them. They have maybe no children, and we're supposed to just go by the book, take care of them, and get out of there. Yeah. And you lose sleep over that, you know. And some people, you know, may have caregivers who tell them something, but they just need a nurse to come in and confirm to them, Mama, what your son said is true. So you need to take your medicines, da 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 da, you know, and you know that's awesome. And some cases they just are happy to see us come in. Right. And you know, you want to go about your professional uh, business? Uh, no, sit down, honey. Take drink some water. They just water. want to visit. They just want to visit, and yeah. you know, it's hard for them to let you go. And we have a lot of them out here like that, you know. So, um, yeah. So by God's grace, this is what we want to do out here. We want to, um, you know, just put a lot of information out there, let people know, teach them about health, teach them that, you know, if you're a Christian, you're a child of God, then God's hand is upon your life and you can go make a difference. Now, we're not saying stay home on Sunday because, oh, I'm a minister too. That's not true. You go to church and let a spiritual authority minister to you. Okay? So when you do that, You'll be able to um, be strong. And we, we try to address situations and issues. Um, there, are, there are three of us, three nurses that came together and we start to talk about stuff like this. Mm -hmm. Just kind of like a laid back talk show. We laugh and we make fun and, you know, and we pray. Do you have meetings or do you have events coming up? Um, we have an event coming up um, next Saturday, which is the actual launching of the program, you know, of this event of the nonprofit organization. So we're not Catholics, we're not Pentecostal, we're not Buddhist. Well, people will hear this show in time for that meeting. Oh but yeah. Maybe like to contact information so they mm -hmm. can get in touch with you for a future event. Okay. We're on Facebook, Christian Nurses Association dot org. That's the website. And then dot com is the no yeah, dot com is the Facebook one. You know, and you spell it all out. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to make the name short and this time. <laughs> I don't so know. We Initials. need all the help and we need all the nurses to come on board and let's make a difference as Christians. Let's show by action. Well, people will either contact you that way if they can find you or they'll call the Chamber of Commerce and ask. Anna, Absolutely. Who was that lady, that Christian mm, nurse? It's the beautiful woman of God anointed to serve people. This is like your first the, radio show, isn't it? In the Antelope <laughs> Valley, yes. Well, this is my personality. The, so thank you for joining the Lancaster Chamber. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad it's And we have, we just have the this thing radio to do. show because people get a chance to see some of the various 
uh, businesses and people and ideas that are involved with the chamber. Awesome. And that's that's fantastic. It's all discovery, isn't it? They watch, they'll yeah. watch something or listen to something and they'll get interested in it. Absolutely. I just happened to mention to um, Anna at the Chamber of Commerce, and I just told her, I said, you know, we're going to be doing talk shows, we're going to be doing radio shows and everything. And she just happened to say, oh, wait, <laughs> I think there's a slot for you today. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. What do you know? So it's she's, awesome. She's my producer. Awesome. She awesome. Finds people. We need to get the stories out. Wonderful. I, I, my pleasure to be here and to serve the Antelope Valley. There's a lot we can talk about and a lot of myths and um, issues that people need to know. So you say international. Do you have anything going on overseas? Yes, actually. Thank you for reminding me. Um, in August, I'll be going to Nigeria, which is my homeland. And um, I'm going to be going with partnership to the faith-based coordinator of the American Red Cross. And we're wow. going to go down to Nigeria and, um, you know, just teach people. You know, it's a third world country. Yeah. Any good you can do is good, is plenty. And they will pray and thank you for it. <laughs> It'll make a lot of difference. It sure will. And out here they address pain. I went to the D.C., um, Washington, D.C., and um, they mentioned to us to address pain pain issues, opioid epidemics, and that we should address it, you know, find ways to do it. So I said, Christians, we are the people of God to bring healing. So whatever pain that there is, it has to be healed first in the spirit. Hey, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Doreen Arison. Erahong. Erahong. Yeah. Christian Nurses Association International. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so very much. My pleasure.